WAFB Plus Studios for you tonight. Well, we're still following that deadly shooting outside the mall of Louisiana from earlier today that left two people dead and two others hurt. Now, we had the chance to speak with Chief Murphy Paul about this shooting, and he says that, again, this was a brazen and targeted attack. And he also believes that the people responsible are also connected to other acts of violence around the parish. And he now needs your help to offer any type of information to make sure that they can apprehend these people that are responsible so that they can get them off the street before someone else gets hurt. Take a look at my story tonight. A daily and chaotic scene outside the Mall of Louisiana tonight. Two people were killed and two others were sent to a hospital in what Baton Rouge police are calling a planned and targeted attack. I have never seen it like this here before. Theo Jordan is a retired cop and was leaving the mall just moments before the shooting happened. I Man, it's just getting crazy where well, you just can't go nowhere no more unless something like this here happening and everything. I don't know what, what gonna happen in Baton Rouge, you know, in the next few years or so. Police say the suspect spotted the victims in the mall and waited for them to leave before shooting them in broad daylight on a busy road. Investigators say the shooters then hopped in the getaway car and sped off. Chief Murphy Paul says the fact nobody else was hurt was merely luck. Thank God it didn't happen. What I say to the community is help us identify the people who are that reckless in their effort, who had that much disregard for life. He says today's murder is yet another example of a terrible trend that's happening in Baton Rouge. 96% of my homicide victims in 2021 were African American. Three were white males, one white female. Chief Paul says we need a change and we can't afford to wait. And I look at the victims, those who will no longer see their family members again. They look alike. They walk alike. They dress alike. They even rap alike. If you listen to their songs, those who are involved in the rap groups, they're killing what they see in the mirror. You know why? Because we failed them. We failed them. They don't love themselves because if they love themselves, they wouldn't shoot somebody who look just like them, who act just like them, who walk just like them, who have the same swag that they have. They're killing themselves, brother. We got to teach them to love again. And of course, if you have any information to help police, please call Crime Stoppers. Well, of course, just like always, if you have an idea about another story that you would like for us to do here at WAFB, you can connect with myself either via email at perry.robinson at WAFB.com or we can connect via Facebook or Twitter. Have a good night.